Hey guys, it's Lex, and the mail came about three minutes ago. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Am I opening this the right way? Is it upside down? Ah, this is my first Art Snacks box and I'm really excited about it. And I got the Art Snacks Plus box. Let's see, first thing we see in here, some Bristol board. Awesome. 400 series, it's a little bent on the corner, but that's okay. Crystal smooth surface. 15 sheets. Sounds good to me. Ooh, we have this cute little bag that it comes in. Let's see, I think these are our menus. I don't want to look at that just yet because I want us to be surprised on what we're getting. Start with the snacks after the paper. We got Smarties candy. I'm not really a big Smarties fan, but I'll eat them anyway. <laughs> Everything else in here. Ooh. <gasps> wow, this looks nice. It is a Tombow Mononoc 3.8. Oh, it's an eraser. Look at it coming out like that. That's awesome. I love little pen erasers. The Kuretake, um, it's made in Japan. I don't know, it's just got writing all over it and it says Kuretake. Let's open it and see. Oh. Can't get it open. There we go. <laughs> nice packaging it's really pretty check that out this pin is gorgeous do you see the design on it it's got gold foiling on it that's gorgeous here's the tip if you can see that there's the tip And we still have more packaging to open. Let me get the box out of the way. This gorgeous pin will set to the side here. Share your unboxing with us. Of course I will. That's the whole point of this. Oh, I opened it upside down. Don't. Well, there, there's the reveal. I opened it upside down. Okay, we've got, let's see, what is this? Abstract Innovative Acrylic Cine Liner, 3D Liner? I have no idea what this is. It's acrylic paint and it's 3D. Cadmium Red Light Hue. We're definitely gonna have to read the menu and see what some of this stuff is. We got our Art Snacks sticker which is some pretty colors. We got the red and teal and black. We have a King Art Premium 10 Original Gold Paintbrush. That's really soft. Probably acrylic, for acrylic. We have a Tombow Pencil in hardness and green art crayon what is this <gasps> what is this oh my gosh it looks like a giant crayon on the end what is this can you see it what is this I'm so excited it says watercolor crayon mixed media watercolor crayon Okay, well, we've got our supplies. 
Let me get everything cleaned up and organized a little bit and we'll come back and we'll make something with it. Okay, got a piece of paper out. And first we're gonna swatch some things. Guess we'll start with the easiest. Pencil. I'm gonna make some lines here. Cause we're gonna try out the eraser with it. Super cute eraser. Yep, it erases. Does what it's supposed to. <laughs> and try out the brush pen. This is the Kurotaki Zig Bimoji Food Brush Pen. It's a very, very stiff brush on the end. It's not much of a brush pen, honestly. Oh, there it goes. We've got some really thin lines. We can do some thicker lines. See my shaky hand. <laughs> Super shaky hand. Just trying to get the thin lines and it's just like making a big wavy line. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Anyway, we tried this. We tried our Tombow pencil, which I've been told Tombow pencils are one of the best pencils that you can get. Hang on, this says for high precision drafting. Let's make sure we do some drafting in this video. Um, so art crayon. I guess first of all, we can use it like a crayon. That is very, very smooth. That is very smooth. That is smooth and creamy. Okay, looks like the nib of the green is all we get because it doesn't come out any more than this. So that's all we get right there is that amount of paint. Let's use this brush and add some water to it. Let's see what happens. Let's try some water on the paper first. It doesn't do a whole lot. light color but it's there probably how I'd want to use it is taking it off of the off of the tip like that probably how I'll choose to use it and we've got this 3d 3d paint bleh. we've got this 3d paint let's read about this and see how to use it exactly Cinelear Abstract Acrylic 3D Liner, $4.95 retail, in case you're wondering. Paint in a new dimension with the Cinelear Abstract Acrylic 3D Liner. This unique tool has a tapered tip that lets you apply paint directly onto your canvas with ease. Achieve 3D effects, contouring, and precise line work with this creamy, heavy body paint. Okay. It doesn't say to shake or anything. some down and see what it does. Okay, are you supposed to use it like bubble paint? Is bubble paint still a thing? I feel like this is wrong. That's pretty. So not adding water to it. I added water to it over here, but just using the paintbrush on it over here. That's really pretty. Basically just using it like acrylic paint. I'm gonna leave this line here and let it dry and see if it dries like 3D, like it's kind of claiming it does. Okay, give me a little while and I'll come back after this dries and then we'll try to make something with all this. 
put the, the green, red, and black together and see what we can get. Okay, so I've let this dry. And as you can see, this actually did dry 3D. There's a little, a little line right here of this. Um, I love the way this color turned out right here. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use this 3D part. Because honestly, the only thing I can think to do with these is maybe a flower of some sort. Um, I think we're gonna go for a rose and see if we can get this to work okay on it. I'm not the best at painting with with acrylics or whatever this is. <laughs> the, the um, let's see, this is wax-based, a wax-based pastel stick. Oh, which by the way, I did discover, like I said um, earlier, that, you, that this was all you get is what's on the end of the nib. That's a lie. I, fi I figured out that it does actually, see, it's really hard to move, but there we go. You can, whoop, there we go. There we go. Um, you can move it up and down. So you do get more than what's just on the nib. So you don't have to worry about it running out too fast or anything like that. So that's cool. Um, okay, I do have a pencil and I have an eraser and we're gonna start. And let's see, I'm gonna try, well, I was gonna try to mix the colors together. That's why I got my um, palette out here. And I may still try to mix them together. I just am curious to see if they will mix. So let's do that now. Let's, whoops. I don't wanna get it all over my surface here. Um, let's just like draw some green in here. We're gonna see if we can get a brown color. Okay, draw some green in there. some red. It's so weird, this little tiny tip. It's, it's, it's neat though, I like it. We're gonna see if we can figure out, maybe do the edges of the rose with it or something like that. Um, let's see, paintbrush. Actually, let me just put water in it. Water. It's not watercolor, but Okay, we are getting a, well, I need a little more green. That's a little too much red. But we are getting a browner color, as you can see here. Well, can't see very well. Let me see if I can put some more green in it. Let's make it a brown color on the side there. We can move it over to this this edge over here. Okay, let's. Okay, I obviously need more green, so let's start again with more green than red. We'll just put a tiny bit. Actually, we'll just use some of this red, and we'll put a tiny bit of red in here. Need some more water. There we go, that's a good brown. The green doesn't really want to um, dissolve very well, but that is a decent brown right there. I've got red all over my brush, get in there. Okay, that's a very decent brown. It's actually still got some green streaks in it. Yeah, it's got some green streaks in it, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty decent brown. I'm pretty happy with that. But as I was thinking about what to make with all these colors, I was thinking I was gonna need a brown, and then I've changed my mind completely on what I'm gonna make, so it doesn't really matter anymore anyway. <laughs> but I did still wanna see if we could make the brown or not. Okay, so there up close is our brown. But like I said, I don't think we're gonna use it this time. But we do have a gorgeous red to use, and we've got 
some green that if you can see the green, the texture of it, it honestly really does look like a crayon except where I used it with water. Let me see if I can get some light on that. There we go. It really does look like a crayon. I mean, they call it a crayon, so that makes sense. So let me put this aside. I got some water on my paper here. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna do. My boyfriend likes to use my leftover colors, so <laughs> that's why, one of the reasons why I'm like trying to get this to mix pretty well. Because I know he likes to use my leftover colors. Because I just end up washing the dish out when I'm done and um, he asked me if I would leave the dish so that he could use them. And so that's what I do now. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. And I was practicing roses earlier so that I could do this on camera. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see if I can actually do this or not. Okay, we're gonna see how big we can do it. Cause I don't know if I wanna use like, I was thinking about using this red puffy paint. I don't know if it's puffy paint. I don't know what you would call it. Um, 3D paint. I was thinking about using this red 3D paint as the the edges around the rows. Like what I'm gonna do is, well you'll see, let's just, let's just do it and you'll see what I'm gonna do. So glad they sent this eraser. Okay, so that's a little bit too big right there at the bottom. I always start out with an oval and then I draw this middle part here. This is gonna be like the center of the rose. And then what we're gonna do is draw first little petal that's not quite open yet. Roses, you know, aren't aren't perfectly round, so you're never gonna see a petal that's like perfectly round. And the petals also all kind of fold over themselves. A lot of the petals have like little M shapes on the ends, like this. Let's see. Yeah. 
I don't want it to look too cartoony, but it might a little bit. But at the same time, I guess that's fine. It's just, we're just trying out the supplies and that's the whole point of it. Okay, let's see. Let's put some, some leaves coming out here. Rose leaves are very unique. There's not really any other plant that has leaves that look like rose leaves. Okay, so what supplies do we have that we need to use? This is pretty decent. Um, I don't like, I mean, I guess we put the, the leaves here. I wish I had put another petal here though, but we're, gonna just, we're just gonna leave it like this. Um, let's use our brush pen. Does this go on the other end? No, of course it does not. Um, we're gonna use this to kind of outline it. Put the cat back on. Make sure it's dry. Because I'm gonna erase. I wanna use a bigger eraser, but I know I'm gonna use what they sent me. Even though this doesn't have a whole lot in it. I wonder if you could do refills on this, see how long it is. Okay, it's pretty long. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Okay, and there it comes out. Um, huh, Mononoc 3.8 Tombow. Tombow stuff is awesome, so it's probably got refills somewhere floating around the internet. Let's go ahead and erase. Wish I could use my kneaded eraser for this. Okay, it's erasing the lines just a little bit. Not too bad, but it is pulling up the black. Yeah, it's definitely pulling up the black. What's this going on here? Is that my pen or is that the pencil? Because it's not coming up. Whoops. Is that my pen? Hold on. Let me go over that with pen. I think that's my pen. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason it like made a little streak. Oh, it's got a little bit on the end of the nib. That's what happened. Okay. This eats up this eraser fast. It's obviously though made for like erasing small things. It's not made for like erasing big pictures like this one is. Okay. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Usually after this, like, I usually draw these with pencil and then I'll shade it and everything, but we don't really have that luxury um, <laughs> when we're using the paints like we're going to use them. Um, let me get this back out. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and just, well, let's put some in here. I'm not sure how I want to use this. Like if I want to put it on the palette and use it, or if I just want to put it directly on the page and paint it like that. I might get some texture if I just paint it directly on the page. Try to avoid these lines as much as possible.
too bad. I don't know how this is gonna look. I don't think I'm gonna be very happy with it. It's okay, I don't have to be happy with it. I just have to be using the, the supplies they gave me, that's the point. We are actually ending up using the art crayon like a crayon. It's nice and smooth on here. I really like it. It's a pretty texture. It does look a little crayon-y on the, on the stems, but whatever. That's fine. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's outline the rows. We'll see if we can do this without messing it up too badly. I'll start in one corner. Sorry, 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 Finn. That's not, that's nobody. <laughs> sorry, Finners. It's okay, Finn, again. <laughs> My dog thought there was somebody at the door. <laughs> Such a good protector. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is one more time, I'm gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back and check it out and see how it turned out. So I will see you guys probably later tonight or tomorrow. Depends on how long it takes for it to um, for it to dry. So see you then. Okay, guys, I'm just kidding. I hate this, so I'm going to paint over it or kind of smooth the paint out and take a lot of the paint off and put it here because I totally hate what this looks like. Either way, I hate it, so probably not an art supply I'll use again, even though the red is totally pretty. I'm trying to get to where you can see the lines through it. You can see them, but I've gone outside the lines so much now that it just looks bad at this point. And I wasted so much paint doing that. I thought it would be pretty, but my hand was too shaky. Yeah, you're not going to be able to tell what this is anyway, so. Yeah. It's 
much the paint off of it. Brrr. If I had a smaller brush, it might have helped, but this is the brush they gave us. So anyway, here's the rose. You can kind of see through the paint so you can see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fail at this video. <laughs> Please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel and you can see me fail more. Sometimes I don't fail though. So, so you know, look forward to the times when I don't fail and then um, that'll make the times I do fail not quite as bad. Anyway, um, okay, bye.